And if you know anything about Saul and his story, you know how that worked out. Mm. And, and the democracy has been failing ever since. You want to see something get messed up? Let people get their hands in it. Amen. Amen. People who don't follow what God says. And you will have a mess. Just look at our democracy today. Yes. I like the fact that you brought out the point that God said that he will write his laws on our heart. Amen. 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 This is why I, I always say it. It's like you won't see, I don't want to see anybody buried with the Bible because you won't need, you won't need it. it. Why would you need it when everything is written on your heart? Hearts. God called us to rule and reign with him over principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. And this is why I like us coming and doing these services in various areas. We are over jurisdictions right now. Yes. We're Amen. We're pulling down strongholds in this area. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And God, because we are his ambassadors, have given us the assignment to go to various jurisdictions and bring down those thrones, Strong. bring down those principalities, yes. bring down those powers, understanding that they can't harm us because we're not battling against people. Amen. I just want to briefly, um, you touched on one of my favorite scriptures, and it's Psalm 24. And the Bible says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Amen. And this is the part. Who may ascend into the holy hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Just think about it. The day will come when we rule and reign with the Lord that we will have clean hands and a pure heart. You know, Lucifer, when he was the morning star, that was his problem. He wanted to, to ascend to the mountain where God ruled from. That's what got him kicked out. The fact that he said, I shall ascend and I shall be like the Most High. Well, we are going to one day be like the Most High, but we have to transition through this sin that we allow to no, come to upon come ourselves. Yeah. And then we will have clean hands and pure hearts and we will have souls that have not been lifted up to idols or to vanity. Yes. Amen. And we will not be those who have sworn deceitfully. The Bible says those who meet that criteria, they are the ones that shall receive the blessing of the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. And this is the generation. This. this we're Jacob. Jacob. We're the generation of Jacob. We are Israel. Remember, God, God changed, changed Jacob's name from Jacob to Israel. And we are spiritual Israel. And then he goes on to say, lift up your heads, O ye gates. See, the ecclesia were the called out ones. So they would come out from where they were and gather in a certain place and discuss matters of politics and dominion and those things of, of God at that time with the keep order. And then God said, well, I got another ecclesia that I'm going to call out. And these aren't going to be looking for a democracy. These are only going to look for one king. And he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Peter was told by Jesus, you are Peter. And flesh and blood did not reveal these, this information unto you when he asked him, who was he? Yes. And Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll establish my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Understand that you are the rock. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing and no devil in hell that can come against you. None. As long as we honor the theocrat. theocrat. Amen. Amen. Yes. God bless you. Have a good day. Amen.